Hello, my first graders. Today we are working on lesson 6.9. That's page 379 in our math book. So if you're not on page 379, pause this video, find that page. All right. Uh, my first graders, we are going to skip this page. Okay. And we're going to go right to this page. All right. So today we're going to be talking about numbers in the 100s. So let me just show you my 100s chart real quick. Right. So we have our regular numbers and then we get down here and we have 100. And it almost sounds like our numbers are starting over again. We have 100, then we have 101, 102, and it keeps going. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with numbers from 100 to 120. A while ago, we talked about how many tens it takes to make 100. Do any, any of you remember that? How many tens is in the number 100? If you said 10 tens are in 100, you are correct. So here is our... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, she's losing her stuff. Five, nine. We got one more out. Ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tens make one hundred. I'll show you on here. Ready? And we can count these out. Just separate them a little bit so it's easier to count. All right, you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so 10 tens is the same as 100. Okay. We also talked about when we write, when we use our TO chart around 100, let me show you on my paper. You don't need to write this. I just want to show it to you to remind you, right? We do our TO chart. We can only have one number in the ones place. The rest are in the tens place. Okay. And that might help us today remember in the ones place right we only want a small number number nine or smaller one digit okay one digit in the ones place the rest in the tens place so look at our drawing up here it says ten tens and one more equals 101 okay and here here it is ten tens is 100 then if we have one more it's 100 one, okay? And if I put my TO chart around that, TO, I have 10 tens and one in the ones place, 101. Okay, 10 tens and 10 more. So here's our 10 tens. And then they took these, right? And they put them as, as, ones, but wait a minute, if it's 10 more, right, we put our circle around it. So 100 plus 10 more is 110. So really, when you look at this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 groups of 10 and no ones by itself. Look how I break that apart. Eleven tens, zero ones. Okay, that makes a hundred ten. All right, so we are going to be practicing that today. It says write the number ten tens and one more. So when we have one more, just a one. Okay, so let's draw that out. Ten tens. So that's what I'm going to start with. Here's my ten tens. Ten tens, 
then one more, so I have to make a one. Okay, how many do I have? Okay, if I need to, I can use my TO chart, can I? 10 tens, and one more makes the number 101. Plus, we know that 10 tens is 100, and then we can count on 100, 100, 1. Okay. And we also, when we look at our number, right, we said we could just write that out. 10 tens and one more, 101. So let's look at this one. 10 tens and two more. So start off with our 10 tens. Two more, so we're going to put two ones. Okay, how much do we have? Well, we know, right? We could write our numbers straight across. Ten tens and two more. One hundred, two, right? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. One hundred, one. 102. Okay, if you need to do your TO chart and put how many tens and how many ones in there to see your number, you can do that as well. So if you needed to do this, 10 tens, two more to build your number, you can do that. All right, look at this one 10 tens and three more. So we make our 10 tens first. Then our three more, so we're gonna make our three ones. Okay, what number did we make? Yeah, 10 tens, three more, 103. And if you needed your TO chart to do that, all right, 10 tens, three more, same thing, 103. All right, I want you to try number four, 10 tens, and four more. Okay, pause. When you're finished, hit play to check. All right, if you're checking, right, hit play, you're ready to check. 10 tens and four more. So you should have had 10 tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more. And that makes the number 104. Number 10 tens, four more. If you need your TO chart, okay, 10 tens, four more, 104. All right, I want you to try number five and number six. If you're hitting play, that means you are ready to check your work. You did both of these. All right, you should have 10 tens and five more. I have 10 tens, five more, 105. 10 tens and six more. So there's our 10 tens, six more, 106. Okay, if you made a mistake and you need to pause, you can go ahead and do that. If not, we're gonna keep going. All right. We are gonna skip over seven, eight, and nine because it's more of the same, 10 tens and so many more. But we're gonna look down here at number 10. 10 tens and 10 more. Hmm, so if we're doing 10 tens and 10 more. So let's start with our 10 tens. Okay. 10 tens. All right, 10 more. So I should make 10. 
Can I? I should ask you this first though. 10 more. If I need 10 more, should I put 10 cubes or could I just put a long? Another, another 10. I could just put another 10, couldn't I? I could just make another long, right? Do I need to make all these ones? No, but I want to show you what it should look like though if I do. If I do that, right, and I make 10 more, that's a group of 10, isn't it? I would need to circle my 10 loose cubes because whenever we see 10, right, 10 ones, we make a group. So now how many do I have? Well, now I have 10 and then I have another 10, so 10, 11. Do you guys see that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this one makes 11. I have 11 10s. Do I have any ones that are loose by themselves? No. So I put a zero. Okay. And if I need to, I can do my TO chart. I have 11 10s and no ones. That makes the number 110. Okay, Let's try this one over here. If you need to pause to finish this, you can. If not, we're gonna keep going. Okay, math on the spot so you can check this video out. This says 11 10s. So if I need to make 11 10s, that's what I'm gonna do. Make your 11 tenths. Do I have any ones? Does it say any ones? It doesn't. It just says 11 tenths. So I made my 11 tenths and now I'm finished with my picture because it does not say that I have any ones. So that's where I stop. To get my number, right, I can either put I can make either my TO chart if I need to, or I can just write it out. But I need to be careful with this because I need to think I have 11 tens, right? 11 tens. Do I have any ones? No, so I need to make sure I put my zero. What number did I make? One, one, zero. 110. And I could even count them by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Okay, so if you would like to watch the video on that, you can. Okay. Always think, if I have no ones, I need to put my zero in. Okay, don't forget that step. Okay. This is write the number, so we'll do the first one together. Well, I'll start with our tens. How many tens do we have? How many tens do we have? Ten. Ten tens. How many ones do we have? Nine ones. What number did we make? 109. And we could count that, couldn't we? 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Okay, 109. Boys and girls, I would like you to do the rest of these. You are writing how many tens, how many ones. See what number you make. 13, 14, 15. Hit play when you're ready. All right. This means you're ready to check. This had 10 tens, 1, 1, 100, 1. This was 104. This was 
105. Okay, all right, if you need to pause again, if not, we're gonna turn the page. All right, solve to find the number of apples. All right, so look at this. This is a little key that they give us, think. Anytime you see an apple by itself, it equals one apple. Anytime you see a picture like this in a basket, that means 10 apples, okay? So it's like saying, every time you see this basket, it's like one of these, right? It's a 10. Anytime you see an apple by itself, it's a one, okay? So we're looking at these, this is 10, this is one. So let's think, how many apples are there? Well, if these are 10, let's see, how many groups of 10 do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have 10 groups of 10. How many ones? Three ones. So that gives us 103 apples. Okay, look at this one. Think. Does it matter that the ones are on the side? It doesn't, does it, right? We start with our tens first, and then we go to our ones. So how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 10 groups of 10. How many ones do we have by themselves? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that makes 108. I want you to try this one on your own. And then I want you to try this one on your own. Think about all together, same thing. Remember they're separated, but that's okay. How many tens do you have all together? How many ones do you have? You're gonna saw both of these. Hit play when you're ready. All right. You're hitting play. That means you're ready to check your work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's 100 apples. And two more is 102. 100, 101, 102. All right. What number does this show? Well, I had to start with all the tens first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tens. I want to check that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five. You should have had 105. So remember, always do tens first and then your ones. Great. You're going to practice on your personal math trainer.